Good morning everyone. Uh, I just thought I'd make a little quick video today. I wasn't planning on doing one. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make uh, something I haven't done yet, which is a guttering tips video. Um, I'm sure most of you out there have cleaned guttering before and a lot of it is quite self-explanatory. Um, but I thought it's a good opportunity today. Uh, I've got a quick contract to do um, basically every house here. There's six houses here and another two just down the road as well. So yeah, it's the same person owns most of these. So I'll be cleaning out pretty much all of the gutter in here. Um, so, right, I'll uh, just take you around the back. I've already done the front of this one. And that's what's just giving me the idea to make a quick video. Right. So tip number one, I'll start with an obvious one, but one that's overlooked by most people. Um, and it was overlooked by me for a long time as well, which is safety. Uh, really recommend a heavy duty uh, rubber mat something like this i know there's a what is it a ladder mate i think it's called um which you can get as well i think that's a bit more expensive than this one but i'm sure it does the same job or even a little bit better uh obviously if you're doing these guttering off ladders um that's something that you'd really need um i also really highly recommend um these those standoffs up there uh, ladder standoffs i hadn't used them up until this year actually and what a difference i really really recommend them they keep you away from the guttering um, so you've got more room as well to sort of stretch and clear out the gutter a bit easier instead of being like right on top of it um, and a lot of the time you'll find you're kind of blocked by your ladders um, but, uh, but yeah I really do recommend those so, uh, so yeah that's tip number one most important one just be safe obviously if you're using a gutter vac um, then you know you're perfectly safe nothing's gonna happen uh, no risk you know there's not really any risk assessments you'd have to do for that as well let's face it uh, I don't use one, um, I don't mind getting up there by hand and doing it, but probably in a couple of years I'll get one when I start phasing out of ladder use really. So, uh, so yeah, there's tip number one. Number one. I'll uh, be back shortly with tip number two. Cheers. Right then folks, uh, quick tip for tip number two. If you're, uh, if you're ever struggling with, sorry, I want to get the camera in the right position. If you're ever struggling with a blocked uh, downpipe uh, and you're trying to poke it through, you think, oh buddy, how is it even clear? I don't know. It's very obvious. Just take it off. There we are. Clear out the blockage, tip it away, see you later. Give that a couple of bangs. Uh, hang on, stick finger up there, that's all the misses, give it a bang, and then simple as, pop it back in, and it's just like Lego, there we are, this is a bit of an old one to be honest, but there we are, simple as, sorted. Uh, let me just preface that one as well with um, saying, uh, not all of them you're going to be able to get off, a lot of them are screwed in these days, especially with uh, newer build properties, um, if they're screwed in, try your best to poke it through. Uh, a good tip as well, big bucket of water, pour it down uh, and it will flush, usually flush it out. If it's still blocked, you are gonna have to unscrew it and uh, take the downpipe off. Um, but it doesn't take that long to be honest, but majority of the houses you go to, there's gonna be a big fat downpipe, nice and easy to take off, it won't be screwed in. Pop it off, pop it back in. Um, if it looks weak, if it looks sort of, you know, uh, a bit old, a bit too old, and you think if I take this off, I'm gonna be able to get it back on then don't risk it, try and flush it. It takes a bit of, takes a bit longer, but uh, does the same job, I usually, but if I can, just pop them off and put them back on. Cheers, I'll uh, get you to the next one now.
Right then folks, on to house number three now. Uh, next tip, also, I've just thought of it here, I, I don't know if you need to do it, but so say you've got some sort of overhanging porch like this, uh, or you could be around the back and there's a conservatory in the way and you can only get your ladders up to a certain part of it. Uh, it helps to always bring uh, some sort of pole with you. Now, typical on the day I'm doing guttering, I forgot to bring my uh, attachment that goes on the end of this, um, but you can basically get, I think it's called a gutter tool or a gutter mate or something, and it goes on the end and it's usually in the shape of an average uh, gutter so you can just sort of slide it along uh, but for this example i'll probably show you with the camera up there but um, i'll probably literally just put a glove on the end of this uh, and just push it along so push all the debris along into a place that you can actually grab it safely instead of trying to put your ladders a bit too far out over a dodgy ground or you know etc i just thought i'd let you know by the way the reason i'm not using my um uh, ladder standoff here is because of the windows so the uh, ridge is a bit too high and I've noticed that the uh, the fascia boards on this are completely sturdy so I've just got my ladder mitts on that which is perfectly safe as well um, because either way you're still below the gutter line you, you just got to make sure that you're not resting the ladders on the guttering really um, if you're finding that you have to grab a ladder mate instead right then I'll probably show you with that camera now what I mean by uh, pushing the moss along cheers Next tip, I've lost count now. I don't know how many I'm on. Yeah, can anyone tell me what's wrong with this one? Yeah, it's an absolute mess. Now, uh, once they've been flooded, they get uh, yeah really dirty when you're trying to clear them out. So just give it a quick wipe over. You know, if you're not getting paid to do, you know, a full guttering fascias and soffits clean, uh, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't still give it a quick wipe while you're there because you've made that mess. Um, you know, this stuff on the bottom here, all that dirt, you know, I'm not touching that, but where this mud is where I've been clearing it out, yeah, that's my fault. So make sure you all clear that off because I see that all too often when people clear guttering, uh, they don't bother giving it a wipe because I think, oh, well, I ain't getting paid for it, but you made the mess, so make sure you clear it up. All right, on to the next one. everyone uh, I'm all done now well I've got two more to do but that's on a different road uh, so yeah that's pretty much the end of the video the uh, the last sort of final thing I'd say uh, is whenever you're doing a gut, gut clear out or a clean or anything any sort of exterior cleaning job uh, give the neighbors a knock um, because I'd say honestly especially with gutter clearing nine times out of ten if I just take ten minutes to run down the road and, and knock the rest of the houses there um, you know see if they want theirs doing uh, I'll get at least one to do. Um, I, I always do that if I've got the time to do it. Today I don't, I'm in a rush, I've got quite a lot to do. But um, yeah, for anyone starting out or who's got some spaces to fill in the week, do that. Always knock the neighbours because you'll, uh, you'll usually get them. Right then, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. 
and uh, let me know what you want to see next and I'll uh, try and get it done. Cheers.